Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. Today I am here in Battle Creek, Michigan doing some magnet fishing. I've got Jason from the Motor City Magnet Fishers and Randy from Muck and Nails with me today. So make sure you guys go check out their channels. I've never done any magnet fishing in this area, but the crime maps are telling me this might be a good spot to look. So we're gonna go ahead and get this magnet in the water. It's a fridge. It's a fridge? No, it may not be. That is 100% a it's safe. So Jason had just thrown this door up. That's 100% a safe down there. Let's go check it out with them. It's really stinking much. I bet you it's thrown off the other side of the bridge. So let's go ahead and see Ooh, if there's anything in here. It feels like there might be something on the side over here. Eh, it appears it's empty, but that is 100% of safe, guys. You can make it work, I'll make it roll. I'll we'll ride it down the hill. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've got a bungee cord. Looks like I've got a bungee cord as well as a sash weight on here. Okay, so I can't pull this bike up with just the magnet. It is waterlogged. So when this happens, we connect the grappling hook to our rope as well as the magnet. And we use this to pull it up. So let's go ahead and pull that up now. It's right here. Alright, it looks like we got a mongoose up out of the water. Woo. Woo. Not a bad bike. And this means I have to ride something, doesn't it? That is my first actual find of the day. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Wait, let's bunny hop this thing. <laughs> Can I get a these nuts, please? That's a $60 knife, dude. And Jason just found this little dog tag on this knife. Military dog tag. No, what? dog tag. Actually, <laughs> dog tag. The dog's name was Onyx. Oh, was. <laughs> Poor dog. After magnet fishing for a little while, this mini fridge started floating down on us, so I decided to head down there and try to get it out and see if there was anything inside of it. Finally got this up out of the water and pulled into shore. We got this out of the water, which is good. It sounded like there's stuff moving around inside. Let's go ahead and see what is inside. Let's see what's over here. Oh, okay. The door came right off. Broken door. All right, let's see what we have in here. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> the first thing we have is a thing of peach schnapps. Looks like we've got a couple of empty white claws that haven't been popped. We've got a unopened bottle of Fireball. And last but not least, boom, we got a full bottle of Kinky Pink. Unopened, it looks like. I might have to drink this. I've never found alcohol before magnet fishing, and this is the first bottle that I've ever found before. Whew. Let's go ahead and get this magnet back in the water. You see it, right? No. Oh. Don't touch anything. No, there's needles down here. Oh, okay, okay. We got a bag, guys. I don't want to empty it. I'm going to squeeze it so nothing can fall out. It's full of water. So I just found this bag. It says Prada on it. I think Prada is a name brand, uh, bag brand. But check that out. Let's go ahead and we're gonna open this up and see if there's anything inside. It doesn't look like there's anything in any of the main compartments. There's a zipper compartment here. Ooh. Okay guys, there is a wallet in this pocket. Let me show you guys that. That was in the center pocket of there. Let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's anything inside. It's a Ralph Lauren Polo wallet. 
And the big reveal, reveals, psh, nothing. So it looks like, unfortunately, the wallet is empty. I just triple checked every single pocket. Let's go check the rest of this purse. There's something in there. It smells like weed almost. And there was one little thing inside of there, this little package. Ban row something, it's some sort of medication that was in there. So uh, inside of that Prada purse was a wallet, it was empty, the rest of the purse was empty, but we got a pill. With that throw, I've got a tire iron. <laughs> and with that, I've got part to a door. <laughs> with that throw, I've got a spoon. I find a lot of spoons. I know Randy found one of these earlier. My first spoon of the day. Oh, oh no way. You guys just found a pickaxe. Look at that. This might be one of my favorite finds of the day. I believe this is the third pickaxe that I have ever found. I found a couple of these over in Saginaw before. I absolutely love finding old tools in the river. <laughs> oh, so I got this heavy piece, but my first ever full-size vape mod that I've ever found. Check that out. I find the little vapes a lot, but I've never found one of these big ones. It's an awesome find. Okay, guys, you know how this goes. This is gonna be my last throw of the day. If I find something recognizable, I'll keep throwing. If not, I'll be done for the day. Let's get this mag in the water. And on my final throw, it looks like I just got this little rod. That is gonna be all for today's episode. Thanks for coming by, guys. If you guys have not, head over to my TikTok account. Make sure you guys follow me over there as well. If you guys have not headed over and checked out Randy at Muck and Nails Magnet Fishing, you can find that down in the description, as well as Jason from the Motor City Magnet Fishers. Make sure you guys go subscribe to them as well and turn those alerts on. If you guys are not subscribed to me, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos every single Friday. Well, I guess except for last Friday. It was my first ever break. But I also post every single day on my TikTok. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>